Yeah, that black yo magic. 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 Magic, magic. Black yo magic. That black yo magic. That black yo. Look at that black yo. Hey, y'all. Hey. So before we get into it, first, let me just say that parking absolutely sucks where we are going today. So you want to make sure that you're taking your time to ride around. Give yourself some time, you know, a few minutes to ride around to try to find some good parking because where we park, which is in the Baltimore City uh, Police Department parking lot, I'm not 100% sure if we were supposed to park there. I think I remember seeing a sign, you know, basically saying that we could park there between certain hours. But don't quote me on that. I don't want anyone getting told. So definitely take your time to find parking. All right, y'all. So we're here in B Moore in the Remington area. And we're here at a food hall. So we're going to check out Creole Soul Restaurant. Now, because of COVID, you do still have to wear your mask. So mask on. Okay. So as you guys can see, this is like a, a food hall um, area similar to, similar to when you go to like the malls and everything, which I thought was pretty dope. Um, found out that there's a few other black-owned restaurants in here, so we will definitely be coming back here so we can bring you guys more content and information when it comes to, like, some black-owned restaurants. So um, this was a pretty big size um, area, as you can see here, um, with the windows and everything. It has open view um, when it comes to coming inside. You got a lot of amount of seating areas. So, like, if you come with, like, a family of five or six or even 10, you have that amount of space to be able to, you know, sit in, dine in, eat in, um, has a great amount of space. Um, when you first come in to your right, I believe is where they usually greet you and uh, some of the bus uh, boys and, uh, you know, that are cleaning the areas and everything. To your right and then to your left, you'll see like um, the bar area here, our bar, um, which I thought was pretty dope. I didn't actually get a chance to go over there to find out if it was in fact black owned, but I'll definitely be checking it out the next time I go there just to try to get a little bit more information. Okay, first of all, y'all, love the food. Not even going to hold you. Like the food was bomb. Um, what I did like to see when I first walked up was younger employees. Um, that just goes to show that Creole is about, you know, helping those, the young ones, the children or, you know, the young adults, giving them something to be able to do that's positive instead of them being out in the streets and everything. So I loved um, seeing that. The only thing I will say is that, you know, one of the workers uh, was sitting down just like right there. I can't remember if the guy said that she was either off or on break, but just like when I felt like they got a little busy because she was technically not on the clock, it just didn't look that well. It kind of looked like, okay, they're super busy, you know, they're getting it done, and then you could be helping, but that's what you think, like not knowing that, you know, she's off or on break or whatever. So just wasn't, you know, like the best look, like I said, when they got busy. But other than that, um, definitely love the vibe when you first walk up, just seeing them, you know, working, getting into it, you know, taking menus and all that good stuff. Just like seeing them here, I was just like, you better, like, come on now. All right. Yeah, like definitely was loving it. And when it comes to the menu, you do have a few options. So you have like seafood gumbo, uh, salmon chicken, chicken and waffles, sweet potatoes, um, nice sides. They have greens, you know, your soups, your macs, your mac and cheese, desserts, everything. They have a pretty good menu. I got the shrimp and grits, which I thought was a pretty, you know, nice size bowl with a good amount of shrimp. It was seasoned well. The grits weren't, you know, overcooked or undercooked. Um, it was really good. Definitely would go back for the shrimp and grits. It was seventeen dollars, and I ordered the Nana puddings. Um, the Nana pudding was bomb. 
I love me some uh, banana pudding. So that was really good. If you haven't been here yet, let me tell you, honey. Creole Soul Restaurant. Listen, honey, you will not be disappointed, okay? Good prices, good vibes, good food, plenty of space to bring family, friends, chill, have a bite to eat, have a drink at the little bar over there, honey. Listen, Creole Soul Restaurant, all right? Don't forget to hit that like button. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and get subscribed. Set your notifications to all notifications so that you will be tuned in each time we upload. Go ahead and follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at Crown Me Colored. Until next time, carry on. That melanin, melanin, melanin. That melanin, melanin, melanin. That melanin, melanin, melanin. That melanin, melanin, melanin.